it's it's uh, Scotland week, last game of the Six Nations Championship, but uh, uh, some some negative news, if I can call it that, in terms of uh, Rob Carney and his availability for this weekend. Yeah, Rob, he's um, that hamstring is is just still niggling him, and it just means that uh, it would be a risk to to push him on this week. So we've decided to. Um, you know, to leave that, to let him rehab it fully, and you know he's probably only a week or two away. But um, that's probably a little bit too tight for us to make a decision uh, here and now, and, and so we'll, we'll leave Rob at this stage, and um, you know it'll give somebody else an opportunity. Um, I, I think apart from that, that we actually came out of the the weekend pretty well unscathed. Uh, a, a, look, a few stitches, um, a, a bloody nose for uh, for Andrew Trimble, but apart from that, everyone else came through okay, and Ken Healy and, and Owen Redden look like they're pretty well ready to go for uh, probably tomorrow's training, and if, if that goes well, then, then they'll come into the frame, um, into the reckoning for selection as well. I know you have probably will have picked the bones over the game against Italy last weekend. I mean, you would have taken a lot of... Um Feel good factor, if I can call it that, out of a the number of tries and maybe b the manner in which quite a lot of them were scored. Yeah, it's it's interesting. You know, we, there was uh, ob obviously the one just before half time, the the length of field try was was fairly spectacular. But the unspectacular ones were pretty well constructed as well. And and uh, you know, on the, on the back of pressure that we managed to get the ball in behind them, or pressure that we exerted with the quality of our uh, our passing was was uh, was very very good. I felt and. Um, you know, again, they were injury ravaged, and, and that makes it uh, difficult for them to be as, as strong as they would have liked. But at the same time, uh, you know, you've still got to play what's in front of you. And, and I felt that we that we showed a, a bit of variation, and, and that that variation was well enough executed that we, we we managed to get over the line. Now the championship has already been decided, but there's a kind of a mini championship almost for those mid-table positions. Uh, that makes the, the game against Scotland this weekend even more important. Yeah, it's important for a number of reasons. Obviously, my, my old mate Vern Cotter is there, and uh, you know he, he's uh, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, you know we we know each other very very well. So uh, you know <laughs> there'll be a few repos going backwards and forwards um, during this week, but you know it is definitely all about the, the team, about the players. They drive the environment here anyway, and 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 they will be looking to drive on and and consolidate in behind that win against Italy to try to put a, a really good performance together. And th there is a lot to pay, play for you know if, if, if we lose we're fifth if, if we win we potentially could get as high as third and that that top half of the table finish is is a pretty solid result I think if, if, if we can manage to get there.